On every Timber King hydraulic mill, the major mill functions are run by direct action hydraulics. Well, what does that mean? That means when you pull a lever to run that feature, actual hydraulic fluid flows through there. It gives you better control because you can feather the control, but more important, it gives you dependability. A lot of mills, a lot of my competitors depend on electronic, 12 volt electric, either to run their hydraulics or actually to directly run major mill functions. That's not as dependable a way to go. And, and what you need in a mill is dependability and simplicity because dependability and simplicity mean that you're sawing more. You're not having breakdowns. Your blade is in the log making lumber, which is why you're buying a sawmill in the first place. And direct action hydraulics are an incredibly important part of that. I can talk pretty frankly and pretty honestly about this um, because we used to have a lot of features on our mills run by electronics and they were the most troublesome features of the mill and that's just the honest truth. And when we redesigned the mills, the new generation of Timber King mills, one of the things we set out to do is eliminate as many electronic controls and as many electronic features as possible in order to give you that dependability which keeps your mill running, which keeps your blade in the wood which gives you the production you need both day to day and week after week after week, year after year after year. My competitors not so. There are a lot of my competitors either who run their hydraulic features with an electric uh, control, not as dependable, or who actually have um, major mill functions that are directly driven by 12 volt, whether it's the blade feed, blade up and down. Um, it's just not the most dependable, simplest way to do it. And so if it's not dependable, what does that mean? Well, it breaks down. What does that mean? You're not sawing. You know, one of my competitors, and I like my competitors, and I don't want to seem that I'm bad-mouthing my competitors, but I want to be frank about the difference. And again, I know the difference here because I used to do it this way. But they've got a huge electrical box down by the tongue of their sawmill. Well, imagine what's happening to all those electric, electrical switches and solenoids and everything when you're driving that mill through the snow or through the rainstorm, or worst, after a snowstorm when there's salt on the roads. It's just not the best way to go. Direct action hydraulics is the best, simplest way to go. We know it because we haven't always done it that way, and we're glad we switched. It's the Timber King advantage.